so glad to see you've come back. Tonight, Ricardo will provide his version of the night at the theater. If you haven't been scared yet, don't worry. You will be after this episode. <laughs> Mark Burley interviewing suspect Ricardo Sanchez about the incident at the East Los Angeles Classic Theater. Okay, Ricardo. Are you gonna tell us what happened? Man, I don't know why I'm here. I was at home, bumping my Ricky Martin CD, chilling. You guys came to me, so you need to do the talking. Hmm. I know you're a member of the In Out Delete podcast, so I need you to answer some questions about Ian Pacheco. I understand he's a part of your podcast, is that correct? I don't know. So it's gonna be like this, huh? Look, I've already spoken to some of your peers from In Out Delete, and I know he's one of the members, so let's cut the bullshit. I know you guys were invited to a special screening. Yeah, so? So tell me about that night. Your peers all seem to have had a weird experience there. Did anything spooky happen to you? Oh shit, serio? I thought I was the only one. Well, since you brought it up, trip out on this. I know you heard how trippy this place was since my so-called peers told you, but there's something fucking crazy going on in there. I was sitting at the bar waiting for the bartender trying to shazam this creepy ass song that was playing when out of nowhere the bartender pops up and startles me was it denny sure i I don't know his name but it was the same guy that took like the tickets in the front what would you like sir damn bro you fucking scared me can i get a broken skull ipa sure thing sir I see you guys are quite the eccentric bunch. Yeah, I guess. Are you enjoying the feature? Well, that shit's fucked up or something. The screen went all white. It was my chance to uh, get some beer. Tell me, what do you think about this Ian fella? I don't know, fuck him. Do you think he would also like to imbibe? I don't know, ask him and keep the change. Wait, sir. Make sure Ian gets this. Tell him it's a gift from his friend, Danny. So as I was walking back to the bar, it happened. What happened? lights started flickering so I looked around to see what's going on and Denny wasn't there anymore so I turned around to go back to my seat and and Denny standing behind me with this big ass scary ass fucking grin holding my beer did he say anything to you no the trippiest part was he just stood there with this big ass smile and then he I froze up I couldn't move I couldn't keep my eyes off of him it's like he had me in a trance Then out of a sudden, the lights started flickering again. And every time they came on, it's like Denny's in front of me. And then Ian's in front of me. And then Denny's in front of me again. So Ian was also there? No, that's the thing. It's like Denny was transforming into Ian or something. It was really fucking with my mind, dude. Then out of a sudden, it stopped and everything is silent. But Denny's still standing in front of me. Is that it? No, this fucking guy opens his mouth wide. And he starts sucking up the beer. Like he's a vacuum or something. And, and he begins to levitate and everything in the room starts flying like there's a tornado or 
something's going on, but it's all going into his mouth. Somehow, I broke out of my trance and I dropped to the floor like a little bitch. I feel like someone tapping me in my shoulder, and I look, and it's Danny. Sir, are you okay? You spilled your beverage. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? I don't know what you're talking about, sir, but you look frightening. Is everything well? You didn't see that? Yes, you spilled your drink, sir. But it's alright. I poured you two more. One for you. And one for Ian. Here you go. And sir, enjoy the show. And then I down my beers, like Stone Cold Steve Austin. What's wrong with you guys, hmm? You really expect me to believe that all you had some paranormal experience? You were obviously drunk. Do you think that could have contributed to your hallucination? I don't know. But it looked real. It felt real. They had to be real. I thought we agreed to cut the bullshit. Okay, if you don't believe me, then let me go home. Why the fuck are you keeping me here? Do I need to remind you about the disappearance of your friend Ian? Alright, but what is that going to do with me? We have reason to suspect that you have something to do with his disappearance. What? That's stupid. I've been listening to your podcast. Thank you. Anyway, after listening, I gathered that there's some tension between Ian and yourself. Let me play something for you, and you can tell me if I'm wrong. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Inad the Lead, the show where we review both new and older movies. This is Gino. We don't need to hear this shit. Despite how dark the movie was thematically, I actually thought there was something pretty nice about it. Of course you would think something like, this is dark, is nice. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I think she's right. This film portrayed death and betrayal in such a beautiful manner that it's poetic. It's something your precious John Woo has never and will never be able to accomplish. Her review was almost as perfect as her ass. Hey, what the fuck, man? I'm sitting right here. That's fucking disrespectful. Dude, I'm only playing. Nah, fuck you. You're done. Tell me there's no tension there. That wasn't in the show. How did you get that out of you? Doesn't matter. Point is, we have it, and it sounds like you were jealous. Like you wanted to get rid of him. Maybe kill him. What? Why would I kill him over that? I thought about beating him up, but I didn't do that either. Okay, but he's still missing, and all the signs are pointing at you being guilty. What the fuck? No. Look, we recorded the podcast after the screening, and that's the last time I saw him. I'm no more guilty than the other guys. Mark here? Uh-huh. Okay. Make sure to keep me updated. Uh -huh. Okay. Can I go now? Not quite. A call came in earlier about someone spotting a body. Turns out it was at your East Los Theater. I just sent my squad to check it out. No shit, for real? Anything you want to tell me? Last chance. Nah, man, I don't know about that. Sit tight. I got one more of you guys to talk to. I have a feeling it's gonna crack. So you just missed your shot. Be right back. What will the detective find at the theater? Who is responsible for the disappearance of Ian? Find out on the next and final episode of the Edit Bay of Horror. See you very soon. <laughs>